Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right. Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are here for another Al Murray video, baby. And there's only so many left, so it's very sad, but we love reacting to Al Murray. We got a lot of his videos on our channel. Go ahead and check that out. Jody, which one are we checking out today? Mr. Murray's gluten has only existed for five years. Just once. That's all I'm asking. Just once. And just the title makes me laugh about this because, man alive, we've heard the word gluten in the last four, five years or so, six, seven years now, eight years, than we have in the existence of the world. Okay. And, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things. And I get it. People have gluten allergies. I know a bunch of people that do. So I'm not saying it's fake, but I just, I can't wait to see what he has to say about it. Um, because oh, it's just say, hilarious. He's going to say it's fake and made up for sure. I don't think he is, but he, he might. You would expect him to, I right? Do expect Especially him. as the pub landlord. Yes, I expect him to as the pub landlord. But if you like this video in any way, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. All right, here we go. I have to check this, right? I'm going to check this, love, to make sure it is white wine. I'm also going to make sure it's not fucking gluten free. Oh, <laughs> God. What the hell has happened? Five years ago, five years ago, none of you people have heard of gluten, yeah? And now we're all going through our poo with a fork looking for it. Who is the gluten in here? Who knew? Who knew? I don't like it. It makes me feel bloated. <laughs> I mean, Pops, Pops, on D Day, June the 6th, 1944. <laughs> when you he love, he points out the old yep. guy. And he, goes, he just assumes. And even the old guy there. knows. Yep. He's like, oh, here we go. He's already starting on a bang. I love it. Pops, on D Day, June the 6th, 1944. <laughs> <laughs> when you come off that landing craft, you've been on it. You've been You've on it been two on days because of the postponement, because of the weather. Yeah, You've been bobbing up and down in the sea for two days. When you hit that beach, Sword Beach they called it, on that fateful morning, the first morning of Operation Overlord, as you come down the ramp of that landing craft and the bagpipe started up behind you and those two Sherman tanks came through the water, rushing out through the water, dropped their skirts, the DD tanks floated up and the flail tank went ahead and cleared the minefield and the shells were hooning in from HMS Arathustra. Yeah, As you made your way, your Sergeant Major heard you on, come on boys, let's go, there's that tank emplacement. Outside, we some sure, man, we got to take it out, boys. As you went forward, were you thinking, Pops, oh, I do hope I've got a gluten-free ration pack. <laughs> 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 Tell me you knew that was coming. I figured he was going to say that, or he's going to be saying, like, oh, I'm so bloated from that gluten. <laughs> oh, that would have been like, good, too. I can't too. make it up this. I can't do my best yeah. fighting today on this all-important day. <laughs> gluten. <laughs> this monumental day because of that gluten. That's hilarious too. I've got a gluten free ration pack. No! 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 Because you were fighting for a Nazi free world, weren't you? Not a gluten free f biscuit. So. <laughs> Also, how in God's name could pulled pork be traditional if no one had heard of it 18 months ago? So... <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> what? I just love how he oh, talks about gosh. the pulled pork. Just gotta throw it in there, you know, if we're on this kick. Oh my goodness, that is too funny. But I do remember, like, I don't know, a good eight, nine, ten years ago, people saying, like, oh, Everybody should be gluten free. Everybody should eat, you know, food that doesn't have gluten in it. It's so bad for our bodies. And I keep thinking, you know what's probably bad for our bodies, <laughs> uh, at least in America, is the uh, fact that we allow so much in our food that no other countries allow. That we have to color our food so it's pretty. What is consuming all this extra crap that we're putting our foods doing to us? I, don't, I know that people have gluten allergies, and so I'm not absolutely. talking to them. I'm not talking to them. But I'm just saying, why are we not more focused on all the other crap in our food? Well, I mean, you're the one that says it all the time. And, and I, I see videos on YouTube about it. I see articles about it, about there are places like in the UK, there are foods that they will not allow their citizens to have. They will not allow the merchants to sell. And, and it's available here in the US in every single size and flavor that you can imagine. That to me 
is, and I'm not one to really stress too much about it. Um, but when you think about it, like, what was the big thing? Remember when the cereal, it had like some kind of like, so it wasn't paint thinner, but it was some something. kind of chemical that they put yes. like in paint thinner yes. or something. Yes. And it's right there, like Lucky Charms or whatever. Yep. It's right there in the box. And so people found out, they made videos about it on social media and everyone, I say everyone, people that I knew at least in my inner circle, they're like, oh no, we don't eat that. And I'm thinking like, um, and one of them was like in the Reese's Buttercup cereals and my daughter, that was her favorite for a few years. And so I didn't want to like not buy it because she loved it. But at the same time, like am I giving my daughter paint thinner? Well, and not just that, but you can take cereal or other foods and like compare the ingredients from what we have in the United States to what they have in the UK. People have done that. And it is not the same ingredients. They <laughs> add extra stuff to ours. Like, and even like our chocolate, like we have eaten, like, um, it was sent to us from Han Solo, like yeah. certain chocolates, but some of them were like the same brands that we have, but they taste very, very different. Our chocolate is very cheap and artificial tasting, where the UK's is like very like rich and smooth. I'm just saying like our country could care less on what they're feeding their citizens. <laughs> it's it's a little scary. And, you know, someone else would say, yeah, but I can die walking down the street or driving my car. Let me eat what I want to eat. And absolutely, you do what you got to do. But it does make you think a little bit. But at the same time, I completely agree. Like we get on these kicks, we stress and we worry. Like in the nineties or so, it was a low fat obsession. Oh yeah. Had to be low fat because yes. fat is so bad. Yes. But what most of these uh these you know, these companies did is they just threw in more sugar. So they still tasted good, took out some of the fat, and then you find out that no, the sugar's way worse for our body to process than the fat itself. And so it, it's just kind of funny. It's it's these yes. kicks. And if it's something that's really, really of worth, it's going to last for the end of time. Mm -hmm. And for me, my fight right now is sugar. I absolutely love it. I, I get absolutely addicted to it. But I've got to stay away from it because that is like, at least just health-wise and how I feel, that is just absolutely, you know, detrimental to my health. You want to um, laugh? As you were like setting this up for this video, I was filling my mind thinking, okay, I have four pieces of C's candy left. After we're done, do I go eat them and then like finish it, the box off and be like, okay, Absolutely. no more sugar for the next like little bit. Like now I really am focused on eating healthier and doing better. Or do I savor them and leave them on? Because I was like, ooh, we have those Girl Scout cookies in the freezer. But regardless, is I'm addicted to sugar too. <laughs> got, and I'm like the worst. Yes, we got, we are definitely not preaching and saying, oh, we are so healthy nope. and all organic and no sugar. It's just one of those things that that is definitely the silent killer and it's definitely an addiction. But let us know what you thought about this album. Murray. It's a very, very short video. Let us know what you think about our reaction to it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for coming back time and time again. And until next time. Goodbye.